Okay, that's good, Enfield. The next car to fire is the Budweiser King of Kenny Bernstein. But a bit of a twist on this pass, at least. Crew Chief Dale Armstrong, former national and track record holder, is behind the wheel of the Budweiser King. Why did you feel the need to go film these races? Well, my, my, my intention in filming the races at Orange County was to preserve it and to, and to try out this new endeavor that I chose to do, which is shooting video. I had a, this might help a little, I, I had a friend that I met through a Mazda dealership where I was service manager. He was one of my customers and he was a studio video photographer. And we were chatting one time and I said, you know, and I mentioned that, you know, my real thing that I love to do is drag racing. He was interested in doing some of that and being involved in it. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, you teach me how to shoot video and I'll take you out to Orange County Raceway. I mentioned him in my uh, intro on the channel as, you know, my video mentor, Al Amato. He's the one that got me going in video. And I shot video with him of other things, but he knew that drag racing was the main reason I wanted to shoot video. Um, another one of my customers at the Mazda dealer was Lynn Rose. She drove a Mazda RX-7. I asked Lynn Rose about going out there and doing that. And uh, she said, sure, come on out. Not a problem, be glad to. Uh, and Charlie Allen, I struck up a relationship with him because of his funny car pass and my funny car pass with Hayden Prophet in the early days, stuff like that. So we had a mutual you know, respect um, and he was all for it. He said, the only thing I ask is if I want copies of it, you'll give me copies of everything you shoot if I want it. And I said, I will, be happy to. Thanks to him and Lynn Rose, I got the run of the track. You know, they let me have the run of the track. They gave me a, my own key to the gate that gives you access to the tower roof because that was the ideal spot. Um, they uh, arranged to have their maintenance guy build me a platform at the top end when I told her I would like to be able to be elevated down there and try some of that. So they were really, really very cooperative, you know. Um, I got to shoot some video from a helicopter. Uh, only time I've ever been in a helicopter, and it was arranged by one of the jet car drivers. And um, I've never done anything with the video because it was when the, the last world final that they had, so technically I wasn't supposed to be shooting video. <laughs> and uh, But there's this one big dude that was an employee at so they got this Bell Star helicopter where the front and the back doors on one side of it are gone. They're not there, okay? It's wide open. Trying to shoot was so difficult because of the movement of the helicopter and all that. And the, uh, what do they call the rails? The, the, the struts that they sit down on. And that was in the way. So I finally told the dude, I said, look, here's what I'm gonna do. I loosened my seatbelt as loose as I could get it. I said, I want you to put your hand you know, on my belt back here. And I stepped out onto that skid thing and stood there holding the camera, <laughs> filming 
as this thing's going around. And actually, I wasn't really frightened. I was more concerned about dropping the camera than anything. Like, whatever you do, don't lose your grip on the camera. And I felt secure. A combination of the loose seat belt, you know, and his hands back there, I didn't feel in danger. Got a shot, an overhead shot of uh, the um, funny car and top fuel final. It's shaky and jerky and all that because this helicopters, you don't see them the way they move, but when you're in one, they don't just sit still and hover. You know, Orange County Raceway was like, you know, uh, like heaven compared to lions or, you know, it was, it was big time, big show type of a facility. And uh, it was so much more enjoyable being there. As a drag racer, it was no more fun than lions and vice versa as a drag racer. But as a spectator, it was tremendously different. It was, it was like a, a show place compared to any other track I had been to, including, in my opinion, Pomona, Irwindale. You know, it was so much nice, so much nicer. So Terry Vance doing the burnout on the Vance and Iron Suzuki motorcycle. I never shot video of the last drag race. I was there for it. And the whole reason I didn't shoot video there was deliberate. It was because I just wanted to enjoy the race as a spectator and as a, a, a fellow drag racer knowing a bunch of the people that were there running their cars. So I just wanted to enjoy it from that aspect. So I didn't document the last drag race. People have always asked me, how come you didn't film that one? That's why. I just wanted to enjoy the race. <laughs> <laughs>